This video is going to show how I adjusted the roof height on a 1988 StarCraft Star Blazer pop-up camper. The front right corner there was about three or four inches higher than the other three corners, which was causing problems getting the door to fit properly. And one thing to note is in the video you'll see that I propped the roof up with 42 inch long 2x4s, hindsight being 2020. I probably wouldn't recommend that. I found that between adjusting the cables underneath, you need to lower the roof all the way to the close to or to the stowed position and then all the way back up to see what impact those adjustments actually had. So doing this again, I would either collapse the roof all the way to the bottom and then make my cable adjustments, or as I read on a forum, some people will lower the roof onto the extended beds and then make their adjustment and raise it up. Either way, I think you're going to get better results than propping it up on long 2x4s. To have a proper fit, I need about 49, 49 and a half inches. I've got that on the front right, but the others are closer to 45 inches. The first thing I did is ensure that it's pretty close to level. I had it parked at the top of my driveway which is sloped a bit I had to increase the height on this side I've heard that if you don't have these trailers pretty level they won't go up evenly but getting it level only gave me about another inch on the low sides I still need about two more inches on all the corners except the front right just looking at those front adjusters, I can see that the closer one is screwed in a lot more than the further one. The closer one is the high corner on my roof. On this rear one, I can move that lock nut by hand. So I assume what happened is when this trailer is in the collapsed position, this thing has just sort of worked its way loose. Took initial measurements from here on the camper up to where the start of the roof is. Then I cut four pieces of two by four, 42 inches long, so that I could lower the roof and support its weight while I adjust the cables. The two by four is on the other side holding up the roof. Plenty of slack in the cable now with those two by fours supporting the roof. Now I'm gonna screw this in probably about eight turns and see what that does for me. I'll do the same on the other three low corners. On this one I had to loosen the lock nut first then I can put some slack in here and screw this tight. It's easy to see how much slack there is in this cable compared to the corner that's tighter. So just one more. I'm going to give it about eight turns also. So this front left, I ended up tightening up quite a bit. The front right, which was the high corner, I unscrewed it about four turns to make it a little lower. Then I tightened these lock nuts back up against this coupling. One revolution of each of those turnbuckles moves the roof height for that side approximately a quarter of an inch is what I found. After quite a few fiddling around adjustments and moving the roof up and down, I got each corner approximately 49 inches and the door fits a lot more square now. One thing I learned is that after you adjust those turnbuckles on the cables underneath, you need to take the roof all the way down to the stowed position and then bring it all the way back up. That kind of evens out the cable tension. I was just making my adjustments with those 42 inch blocks and then when I put it all the way down and all the way up the corner that was the highest before was the lowest so I probably could have saved myself some time by lowering it all the way and raising it all the way between adjustments